How Huawei is bypassing the HBM blockade. Recently, another major headline hit the tech world. Certain Western nations have intensified their chip blockade against China, specifically targeting high bandwidth memory, HBM, chips. Their goal is to stifle China's progress in artificial intelligence. However, at this crucial moment, Huawei unexpectedly unveiled a HBM free solution, grabbing everyone's attention. What kind of innovative approach did Huawei develop to find an alternative path under such strict technological restrictions? And will these nations' elaborate chip blockade truly fail because of Huawei's new plan? To answer these questions, let's take a closer look. We will explore Huawei's HBM free solution, examine why the chip blockade might be failing, and analyze how this new approach could reshape the competitive landscape of the global AI chip market. What is HBM? And why is it a target? Before we dive into Huawei's solution, let's understand what HBM is. HBM, or High Bandwidth Memory, is a high-performance memory chip designed specifically for GPUs and AI processors. It uses advanced 3D stacking technology to achieve incredibly fast data transfer speeds, low power consumption, and massive data bandwidth. Think of it this way. During AI training and inference, data is like cars on a highway. HBM ensures these cars can move quickly and smoothly. It is an absolutely critical technology for the development of AI. So why are certain Western nations so fixated on HBM, restricting its export to China? The reason is simple. They fear that China's rapid advancements in AI will threaten their technological dominance. In recent years, China's AI sector has shown incredible momentum, achieving significant progress in many fields. This has challenged their position, leading them to use export restrictions on critical technologies like HBM to slow down China's AI industry. This is a powerful strategy, like trying to snatch away a runner's shoes to slow them down in a race. However, they underestimated the resilience of Chinese companies. Huawei, a prime example, responded with resolve. If you won't let me use HBM, I will find my own solution. This shows that while such hegemonic actions may create short-term difficulties for China, in the long run, they only motivate the country to strive harder for technological independence. What exactly is Huawei's HBM free solution? Huawei's HBM free solution, simply put, is an innovative approach to chip design and memory management that allows it to achieve performance comparable, or even close to HBM, without relying on it. Instead, the solution utilizes other types of memory chips, such as the more mature GDDR6. This sounds easy, but it's incredibly challenging, like being asked to prepare a lavish multi-course meal without the most premium ingredients. To achieve this, Huawei went to great lengths. First, they optimized their chip architecture to improve data processing efficiency. Simultaneously, they made a major breakthrough in memory management. For example, they developed a new algorithm that can more efficiently schedule and manage memory resources, reducing waste. It's like an expert manager who keeps household resources perfectly organized. Recently, Huawei and China Union Pay made a big move by releasing the AI Inference Innovation Technology UCM, Inference Memory Data Manager. This UCM is a game changer. It's like an intelligent memory management master capable of finally managing the data generated during the inference process. For Huawei to create such a solution is a remarkable feat, the result of countless hours of hard work by researchers who confronted technical challenges head-on. This spirit of innovation is not only a great asset for Huawei but for the entire Chinese tech industry. Certain Western nations aim to stifle innovation through their blockade, but Huawei's actions show that blockades only make China stronger proving its ability to find a way out of adversity. Why the chip blockade is failing The blockade on China's AI chips has two main targets. The AI chips themselves, such as GPUs, and supporting technologies like HBM. The belief was that by cutting off both, they could halt China's AI industry. However, reality has proven them wrong. Huawei's HBM free solution is a powerful weapon in China's fight against these restrictions. While China still faces challenges in advanced AI chip manufacturing, the HBM-free 
Solution demonstrates that Chinese companies are using technological innovation and alternative approaches to counter the blockade. Once this solution matures, the U.S. strategy of using HBM to limit China's AI development will become ineffective. History offers similar examples. Back when Japan's semiconductor industry was thriving and gaining significant market share, certain Western nations retaliated with various sanctions, restricting exports and suppressing Japanese semiconductor companies. However, Japanese companies were not completely defeated. They maintained a leading position in some niche sectors, such as semiconductor materials and equipment. These sanctions also pushed other nations to prioritize the development of their own semiconductor industries. For instance, South Korea began to heavily invest in its semiconductor industry, eventually securing a significant position in the global market. These examples show that technological blockades may have a temporary effect, but in the long run, they are unlikely to truly stop a country or company from advancing. The drive for innovation comes from internal needs and ambition. As long as there is a demand, people will find a way to innovate. The blockade on China's chips is no different. Huawei's HBM Free Solution is strong proof that China will not be easily suppressed. Instead, it will continue to grow through adversity, making the blockade progressively ineffective. This also serves as a reminder to certain Western nations that in a globalized world, collaboration is the path to a win-win situation, while blockades ultimately harm all parties involved. Following Huawei's solution, the landscape has changed. It offers a new alternative for other companies that were previously limited by HBM restrictions or high costs, giving them new hope. It's like having only one grocery store with high prices and limited options, and then a new one opens, offering great prices and fresh products, which will certainly attract many customers. Huawei's HBM Free Solution could bring more companies into the AI chip market, making it more diverse. Globally, Huawei's approach will also drive the development of AI chip technology in more diverse directions. Previously, everyone focused on HBM believing it was the only way to improve AI chip performance. Now, Huawei has proven that high performance can be achieved without HBM, which will encourage other companies to explore new technological paths. It's possible that in the future, even more innovative memory technologies and chip design solutions will emerge. It's like a race where everyone is running on one path, and then someone finds a shortcut, prompting others to explore more possibilities. Furthermore, Huawei's success will encourage more Chinese companies to increase their R&D investment in the AI chip sector. Given the immense size of the Chinese market, once domestic companies combine their efforts and leverage their advantages in technological innovation and cost control, they are likely to secure a larger share of the global AI chip market. Hopefully, this provides a better understanding of how Huawei is challenging the status quo. What are your thoughts on how this could change the global tech industry?